A lot of people don't understand that the liberal arts has nothing to do with politics. The word liberal in liberal arts actually has to do with liberty and a free mind and the kind of learning that frees the mind to think for itself and to continue learning throughout your life. If you go back, for example, to the 1960s and 1970s, the predominant view of the purpose of business is that businesses existed to generate profits for their owners, which at that time relative to today was a rather myopic focus. If we fast forward to today, that that view of the purpose of business has shifted substantially and is much more expansive. When we consider the liberal arts, the purpose of that is to essentially expand our world view, to be able to make us more adaptable and expandable in terms of our curiosity and awareness of what's going on. Students graduating now are gonna have at least five careers in their life, so that gives you a lot of flexibility to deal with what's coming towards you, right? And you're not narrowly trained to one thing. So the way you might be learning about something like race in a social sciences class and the way you're learning about it in a biology class and the way you're learning about it in a literature class are all very different, but they complement each other in really important ways. Comprehensive University will have a list, a gen ed, that doesn't look super different than ours. You're gonna take a history, you're gonna take an English, you're gonna take a science. I would say the differences in a liberal arts school, our goal is that we're gonna make connections between those subjects. I teach a methods of scientific inquiry class, which is a class the entire university has to take. And we were talking about a certain topic in it, and nobody in the class could understand why society thought about this topic this way. But then a business major says, guys, I'm a business major. They say this because of money. I sometimes get nursing students in my general education literature classes who wonder why they're in there because it's so different from everything else they're learning. But there's research that shows that reading fiction actually makes you a more empathetic person. And so studying literature actually helps people who work in the health sciences become more compassionate caregivers. When we think about the liberal arts, especially here at OCU, we often connect it to our general education foundation, but it doesn't stop there. So for example, in the business school, one of the first classes that all business majors are required to take is called business ethics and leadership. Much of that class focuses on those things that I just discussed, which are essentially having a broader view of what it is that you do and why you do it beyond just making sure that you're profitable in your operations. You need critical thinking in the job, but you also need to use it to know who to vote for, uh, offer your local school board, um, or to make decisions for your family. So we use critical thinking in both academic and personal ways. Students learn how to communicate well in writing and clearly in writing and speaking. Um, to learn problem solving, to learn collaboration, how do they learn from others and how do they teach others in all kinds of environments. And those are the kind of skills that transcend specific jobs because the technologies at our jobs are changing so quickly, we have to be flexible thinkers who can solve problems, work with others, and think well and research and analyze. I'd say one of our huge strengths, and you'll hear this from everybody on campus, is the community aspect. Um, so you have really close relationships with your professors. Um, and kind of, I think this permeates the whole campus. Like staff talk about how it feels like a family. Faculty talk about how it feels like a family. Um, so a huge difference is that the accessibility of your professors and the interactions that you get to have with them. I think the kind of community we have here at OCU that fosters intellectual, spiritual, creative endeavor as, as a community wouldn't happen without the liberal arts tradition. Thank mm -hmm. you.